Hi, my name is Jim Salzer. I'm a professor at the NYU School of Medicine. Our laboratory is studying the interactions between axons and myelinating glial cells. A key question we've been investigating is the mechanisms by which nodes of RONVA assemble. Nodes of RONVA are critical for saltatory conduction, and they're an example of the exquisite organization of neurons into discrete functional do domains and enable reception, integration, and propagation of electrical activity. In this study, we've examined the sources of nodal proteins and how they traffic to the site. The node of Ronvia, shown in red, forms in the gap between two myelin sheets, made in this case by the blue Schwann cells. In the PNS, nodes are contacted directly by Schwann cell microvilli, which promote their assembly, and then become flanked by paranodal junctions, which form between the ends of the myelin lamellae and the axon. These junctions provide a diffusion barrier that separates the node from the rest of the axon. The node itself is a complex of three types of proteins, adhesion molecules, notably norfacin 186, which is a key role in PNS node assembly, ion channels, including NAV 1.6 and the KCNQs, and a cytoskeletal complex that includes anchorin G to which these proteins are tethered. Prior to myelination, all of these proteins are diffusely expressed along the axon membrane, whereas after myelination, they are highly concentrated at the node and nearly absent from the internode. The first question we addressed is whether proteins present along the axon membrane prior to myelination redistributed to the node to form this complex, or alternatively, whether they are newly synthesized proteins made in the soma that were transported to the site. Hi, I'm Yan Qingzhang, the lead author of this study. To address the source of the protein, we first developed a method to study myelination in the absence of neuronal cell wall. We express high level of NMAP1 in neurons, which protects axon from degenerating after transaction. When we add Schwann cells to these axon-only cultures, they still form myelin sheets. The nodes that form on the transacted axon had cell adhesion molecules but did not have ion channel or cytoskeleton proteins. We also found that axon transport shut down within hours of transaction. This result suggests that nodal accumulation of ion channels and cytoskeleton proteins require transport. To test this directly, we generated microfluid chamber cultures in which the neural cell body are grown in one compartment and their processes grow into another. We then add Schwann cell to the distal compartment where they myelinated axon appropriately. We then add Borfeldin A to the somar compartment to block vascular transport. The node that formed was similar to those on the transected axon. Only adhesion molecules were present. This result suggests that adhesion molecules do not require transport, but ion channels and cytoskeleton proteins do. Hi, I'm Yofo Becker. The next question is, why this protein accumulate at the node so differently? To address this, we examine the, this protein's lateral mobility by photobridging analysis. In this procedure, fluorescence recovery after photobridging was measured. If we photobridge GFB tag adhesion molecule that are expressed on the axons, the bleach spot recovered quickly, indicating this molecule rapidly diffused within the axon membrane. If we do the same with GFB tag channels or cytoskeletal proteins, the photobridge spot recovered poorly or not at all, indicating channels and cytoskeletal proteins are larger immobile. These results suggest that channels and cytoskeletal proteins must be transported to the node since they cannot diffuse there. The mobility of cell adhesion molecules suggested they might accumulate at the node by redistributing from existing surface proteins. We confirmed this was the case by surface labeling norfacin, which we engineered to express a biotinylatable epitope tag in its ectodomain. This surface pool was diffusely expressed in axons prior to myelination, but became concentrated at nodes with myelination. We further found that the ectodomain sequences of norfacin targeted to forming nodes both in culture and transgenic mouse models, suggesting that it's diffusion trapped by interactions with glial ligands. However, 
a diffusion-based mechanism cannot account for the replacement of proteins in older nerves since there's little neurofascin in the internode and more importantly the paranodal junctions prevent diffusion. Instead we found that subsequent targeting of neurofascin to mature nodes is mediated via cytoplasmic sequences presumably via vesicular transport. Our results also suggest that the paranodes regulate the switch from a diffusion base to a transport dependent trafficking mechanism. So in summary, our results support a sequential model of PNS node assembly in which adhesion molecules on the axon surface accumulate via diffusion trapping by interactions with Schwann cell ligands. In contrast, ion channels and cytoskeletal proteins must be transported to the site. Once paranodal junctions have formed, all components are transported to the site. Key questions for the future include how vesicles traffic to and fuse at the node and whether similar mechanisms apply in the CNS as well.